that's kind of like brutal, isn't it? Some folks, you might just have to follow the hand. Maybe the hand, and maybe you're interested in what the hand is doing. Or 
you might be seeing other things. Oh, wow, what a lovely pink, blue color he has behind him. It's the, uh, whatever, I, whatever I called it before, it was long, is it? I'm gonna print it out again. You can probably see it somewhere floating over here. Point is this. Oh, did I get to it yet? No, I didn't. I should turn this off when I'm speaking. Anyway, folks. Okay, so I don't know if Carly Benton is still making this, if they still do it. You know, I think the last time I saw it was still, it was still doing it, but sometimes they go in and out of stock. That's at Tolman or some other places where you might find them. Some guitars, I will be honest. Some guitars are on the for sale rack, but all those guitars are actually good playing guitars, and sometimes I take them off the for sale rack. Um, some, you know, some, some guitars I say I must keep and they're not leaving. And you guys know, I've mentioned these particular guitars, like they're keepers to me. And, you know, so, uh, I have to be honest with you, this one's been on the for sale rack for a while. <laughs> or, I don't know, maybe people are in on it, you know, maybe, well, uh, I had one of those. Or maybe, you know, maybe they're, uh, they're just... Uh, they're not showing off. I don't know. Or maybe they quit nurturing the poor animal so that it can actually become a guitar, finish its birth process. Because, you know, there are many guitars in the Harley Benton range that actually could use a little bit more on the finishing, meaning that nothing physical or appearance wise just Make sure that everything is connected. Make all the, you know, the switches are right, and all the screws are screwed into wood, not, you know, miss, missing. You know what I'm talking about. And that, you know, parts are grounded. It's just the finishing touches. Maybe, um, maybe even actually would be really cool if they would just make sure that the frets are not sprouting or anything. And make sure that, you know, they're... Maybe just, I know, polish, that would be great. They, they all come out polished. But nowadays, you know, with um, you know, everybody's doing, using stainless steel frets, these, they, this might be a bygone age I'm talking about soon, of having to replace frets and all of that stuff. But anyway, um, the, the old guitars, they lasted for decades, even with the old frets. <laughs>
Anyway, uh, enough talking. I think I talked too much. Thank you for watching. That'd be really cool if you subscribed. <laughs>